Hello, my name is Ashley Baker. I am the Delegate of Communications, Publications, and Outreach for the ABA Law Student Division. There's a mouthful. You can just call me the Delegate of Communications for short. Um, but the title really does encompass all that you will be doing in this position. And I am creating this video to encourage you guys to apply. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Do not. I almost let it pass me by. And in retrospect, I would have regretted it. Um, this has been the most amazing experience. I have met the most amazing people um, and got to work on some incredible things that I want to share with you today. So I received a few questions and I'm going to answer, try to answer those questions to the best of my ability um, to give you guys a better idea of this role. So the first question is, what have you enjoyed most about your role? To be honest, it's the trips. I like to travel. So anytime that I can get away, I love it. Even if it's doing ABA work, I still, I still love it. So, um, I've gone to Chicago, uh, twice with the ABA so far. Um, I'll be attending mid-year meeting in Las Vegas and the next annual meeting in San Francisco. And I am looking forward to it. Um, every meeting is, is amazing. It's fun. Um, you know, when you hear people talking about the ABA, they rarely mention fun, but it's fun. It really is fun. This is the most fun that I've had in law school. Um, period. <laughs> so, so I encourage you to apply just, you know, if you like fun, um, Besides fun, it's it's encouraging to see that other ABA entities want to involve law students in their um, in their programming and in their their initiatives and their new ideas. And um, I enjoy working with different entities and talking to people from different areas in the ABA um, just about what they have going on and um, networking with different people. That's another opportunity that you get with the ABA. Um, whether you realize it or not, the ABA is it may, it's made up of people, lawyers from all different areas of practice. So um, whatever you're interested in, whatever area that you're interested in, you can find an attorney within the ABA that practices whatever it is that you're looking to practice. Um, so it's a great networking opportunity as well. So something to consider. Um, the next question, what surprised you most about this role? Hmm. To be honest, before I applied, I had not done much research about um, the ABA as a whole. Um, I did a lot of research about the law student division, but not a lot of research about the ABA in general. And what amazed me was when I attended the ABA annual meeting and I sat in on the House of Delegates um, assembly and they were voting on different resolutions and things. And and I was just in awe at the, at the policies that they were talking about, um, about non-unanimous juries and, and, um, indigent, um, litigants and things of that nature. I didn't know the ABA got involved on such a personal level in people's lives. And that was the most surprising thing to me. Um, another thing that surprised me was the fact that, I've met so many incredible people and got to work with so many incredible law students from across the country, and that has made me a better advocate. Um, serving on the council with an incredible team has made me a better advocate than I would have been if I just stayed 
at school, doing schoolwork, um, completely submerged in books um, during my 2L year. Next question. What experience or memory from being a part of the Law Student Division Council would you not trade for a million dollars? To be honest, there are not a lot of things that I would not trade for a million dollars. But I wouldn't trade the fact that I can be a part of change in people's lives. So the change that I was talking about, like with the House of Delegates, um, in this position, you get to write resolutions um, if that's what you're interested in you will be able to vote on resolutions um, as, a, as a voting member of the House of Delegates. Um, this is, it's, it's a very, this is a very diverse role. So you'll be able to do um, smaller things on the law student division level, but you'll also be able to engage with other delegates and talk about issues and create policy, ABA policy, and that ABA policy has the potential to translate into legislation or um, influence court decisions, and that is what I would not trade for a million dollars. Um, right now, I'm working on a resolution to urge state and local governments to um, allow disenfranchised felons and incarcerated persons to vote. I would not trade that for the world. That means a lot to me. So whatever it is that you're interested in, whatever kind of policy that you're interested in, you have the potential to work on those things with the ABA. So next question, who was someone you loved working with? I think I've already said this like four or five times, but I'm going to say it again. I love working with our council. I love working with our council. Our council is made up of a diverse group of law students from different areas of the country, from different walks of life. And to be able to bounce ideas off of each other, to be able to learn from each other and collaborate with each other is just the most amazing experience. And I think I mentioned this before, it is like a family. We are a family. And it's amazing. I look forward to seeing them at each meeting. I look forward to our council meetings when we get to talk. I love it. I love it. Um, I guess I wouldn't trade that for a million dollars too. <laughs> Last question, what qualities make a person successful in this position? You have to be a multitasker. You have to be able to handle a lot of different things at one time. Um, in this position, you'll be working on the podcast either, um, you know, as someone who's overseeing it or you can be the host if you want or you can choose a separate host. Um, you'll be part of the editorial board for both the blog um, the Before the Bar blog and the Student Lawyer magazine. You'll also be keeping the records of the council meetings. Um, yeah, and then there's also always the policy side of it. You know, like I said, I'm writing a resolution. And this is all while I'm in school, doing a full load of schoolwork. So you have to be able to multitask. You have to be able um, to be organized. You have to um, be able to handle different different things at one time. Um, another thing that you need to be able to do is you need to be able to um, communicate effectively. Um, you're the delegate of communications. <laughs> you have to be able to communicate. That That is something um, that I have that had that I have had to grow into so even if you know you don't feel like you embody every specific quality um, that I've listed still apply 
because with a challenge comes growth and you can do this. So I hope that helps you get a better picture of what I do as Delegative Communications and I am encouraging you, please apply for this position. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. The ABA is an incredible organization. The Law Student Division is an incredible group. You will regret it if you let this pass you by. <laughs> so, you have been warned. Alright, so I'll see you guys later.